Earlier today, I tried out a new program for video editing, and it's called Adobe Premiere Rush. Now, normally I use Adobe Premiere Pro, um, but the thing is, is that a Premiere Pro, it has a lot of really awesome features, but it also takes a long time to edit videos sometimes. And uh, since I've been trying to make a video every day, or at least every other day on my YouTube channel, I thought I would try the Adobe Premiere Rush program. It's a more recent program. I don't know when Adobe came out with it exactly, but I just heard about it last week. Adobe specifically created it for people who are posting videos to social media. And so I thought that maybe it would be worth trying. And I'm so glad that I did. I was able to edit one of my videos, which is a vlog kind of style video where I was giving a house tour, but I was able to edit that video in about 45 minutes. Typically one of my day in the life of vlogs takes me two to four hours to edit because the sound is so messed up. And every time on my iPhone when I'm recording it, I don't use like external mics or anything like that. I just use the what's what comes with the iPhone. And so every time I turn the camera around, if I'm recording myself, the sound will be louder than if I'm recording something else and kind of talking behind the camera. There's just all this different uh, levels of it. And so it usually takes me an hour to go through my video and equalize the sound on everything so that it all flows relatively well. I mean, it's never perfect because I'm not going to spend like four or five hours on it, but but at a tolerable level. The other thing is my videos always, when I import them to Adobe Premiere Pro from my phone, um, they are always really quiet. And so I always have to um, you know, raise the volume of the sound on everything, which isn't a, a really a problem, but when I have to equalize the sound on every clip, it can really be a pain. <laughs> and so when I imported all of, I had 31 clips for this video, which is a lot of different clips with a lot of different sound levels. When I imported them into the Adobe Premiere Rush program, it was awesome. Like all the sound was relatively equivalent. They, the program automatically made all the sound levels higher to where they needed to be. Um, and it had a lot of the features that I commonly use with Adobe Premiere Pro, but they were just all pared down and a lot simpler to use. Um, it was a lot quicker interface. I'm gonna show you some of it now. I've opened Adobe Premiere Rush and you can see, um, there, here's where you can watch the video play. It's going, and there's going there. Right, and then here's where the timeline is of all the video clips that I put in here. Now this is already edited, so, so I've already trimmed them, but if you ever wanna trim them, all you have to do is just select this orange area over here and you can make them smaller. I don't think that one could go any larger because it wasn't a larger section, but you can trim them. You can also replace them if you want to change the order. It's very easy. And over here, you can add titles and they have a lot of different options in here. You can also add transitions. I want to add one in between the clips. It makes it really easy to do. You can also change the colors, which I usually don't do that, but some people use those features. If you ever want to speed up the clips and make them start going faster, you can do that in here as well. You can also transform them and clip them into different sizes. So for instance, if you want it to be, if you've recorded it in a horizontal size, but you want it to be a vertical video to upload in one of the vertical video platforms, it does that for you automatically. It automatically follows you throughout the video um, to be able to change it to the right orientation, which is really awesome. I haven't used that feature yet, so I can't report on how well that works. So all in all, I would highly recommend Adobe Premiere Rush for a couple of different uses, not for everything, but for a couple of different uses specifically. First, if you are new to video editing, then Adobe Premiere Rush is the perfect place to start if you've never tried Adobe Premiere Pro. I remember years ago when I started to learn Adobe Premiere Pro, it was a little overwhelming at first because there are so many features and so many things it can do. And it's awesome all the things it can do, but at first it can be really overwhelming. And it's kind of time consuming to like, sort through all the menus and things they have in there to figure out how to add all the different effects. Like if you're just trying to add a simple transition, you have to click several different places to do it. Whereas in Adobe Premiere Rush, you don't have to do that. It's just one click right there, drag and drop, very easy. The downsides that I see to Adobe Premiere Rush are that they're just not the same amount of features that there are on Premiere Pro. 
So I couldn't see anywhere that you could do green screens with it. I couldn't see anywhere that you could do like special editing. Like if you wanted to add like a Gaussian blur to one little area of the screen to cover something up for privacy, you can't do that. Um, there's a lot of things, little, little things like the motion graphics I wasn't able to create in there. Um, they had uh, things that were motion graphics that came with it, but I couldn't create my own motion graphics from scratch. So I couldn't use some of the motion graphics that that I had created for my videos. I could have if I would have exported them from Premiere Pro as video clips and then added the video clips in there, but I couldn't just like create them from scratch in the timeline. Um, so that was a downside for me, but not a big one. All in all, I'm gonna use uh, Adobe Premiere Rush to edit my very simple kind of vlog videos in the future because it made it a lot faster and it was a lot easier. Very quick to export, easy to upload to YouTube, video quality was awesome. <laughs> so everything that I would get from Premiere Pro, um, just quicker. <laughs> so I really liked that. But if I have more complicated videos, like if I ever wanna shoot in front of a green screen or you know, need to blur out something or really kinda of wanna have like lots of different layers of video on there, I think I'll go ahead and stick with Adobe Premiere Pro because it just has more capabilities on there for me to do kind of cool, more technical stuff with my editing. And in closing, I would love to hear what you all think of it. Have any of you tried Adobe Premiere Rush? If you have, please post your opinions and perspectives in the comments. I mean, if you have other video editing programs that you've used that are easy and have been very quick to be able to create YouTube videos with, please post information about those as well so that we can share and learn from each other. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, you guys.